Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ego and this is Love Ego. If this is your first time to my channel, let me just say you're welcome. I hope you will join this family. I hope you will hit the subscribe button if you like what you see and watch some of my other videos. So today's video is going to be another DIY video and I'm going to be showing you how to make a kimono dress, which is basically like the same as making a regular kimono. I just tweaked the dimensions a little bit to make it wider than I would usually make my regular kimonos and that way when I tie it, cinch it together at the waist, then it will give me more of a like flared effect that's really the only difference but since I've never actually done a DIY kimono tutorial on my channel I think I've done it on my blog so check that out but I haven't actually done one on my YouTube channel so I just thought I should like take you through the process from scratch from beginning to finish it's really very simple and it's very quick a kimono is one of the like easiest things that you can make honestly you just need just a bunch of boxes that you're sewing together so before I chat on and on and on let's just get straight into this um, video and I'm going to talk about materials and then I'm going to like show you how to cut the pattern for yourself specifically or if you're making for someone else um yeah so that being said let's make this jacket slash dress so first thing you're going to need is your fabric of course for my size I used about 1.5 meters of fabric and I still had a lot left over you're also going to need some matching thread you're going to need um, a ruler or like a dressmaker's measuring tape you're also going to need pins and chalk or any type of fabric marker let's get to the pattern so this is my drawing just ignore all the like scribbles around it if you look at the drawing that i have of the kimono here you will see that what we basically need is one back piece we need two front pieces we're also going to need two sleeves two sleeve pieces and then this collar trim that goes around the jacket and we're going to need the waist tie so those are the five things that we're going to be doing so this is what the patterns are going to look like you're going to need to cut one back piece that is the width of your shoulders multiplied by 1.5 we're going to cut two front pieces that are the width of um, shoulders with the length you can make that as long as you want also for the sleeves we're going to be cutting two panels on fold so take that into account as you're measuring how wide you want them to be we're also going to be cutting the collar trim. The collar trim is the length of your dress multiplied by 2.5. That's how, how long it's going to be. And we're going to make the width four inches. For the waist tie, we're also going to be cutting another long rectangle that is eight inches by 78 inches because we're going to be folding it to sew. All right, so start by cutting out all your pieces, the front and the back pieces and the sleeve pieces and make adjustments according to the size recommendations in the pattern that I showed you. Mine is a size small, so I'm using my own specific like shoulder length measurement and my own like length that I want as a guide. So after cutting out all the pieces, we can get right to the sewing. So place the two front panels together with the right sides facing each other. We're going to be cutting the neck triangle next so that it has that V shape at the front. So, so to do that, then measure the first point of your diagonal halfway across the short side and mark the other points halfway down the long side as well. And then trace along this line and cut and you will see that you will have your V shaped there nicely done. Then lay the back panel flat with the right sides facing up and place the front panels on top with the right sides facing down. So just face them like right sides to right sides facing each other. Then align the top edges in from the outer corner. So pin and sew those sides together around the top edges and then just sew half an inch in from the edge of the fabric using a basic straight stitch. Then open the body panel that you've sewed together and lay it flat with the right side facing up. Now we're going to attach the sleeves. So place the sleeve panel on top with the right side facing down. Make sure that all right sides are facing right sides, right? And the seams line up. You want to make sure that the middle of your sleeves is right to where like the, your shoulder seams meet. 
so pin along the outer edges and attach the sleeve panel to the body repeat this on both sides of the sleeve so that you have a sleeve panel attached to the left and the right side of the dress so the next step is to fold the dress along the shoulder seam so that it looks inside out so fold it then pin along the underside of the arm so now we're just going to close like the main body seams so pin along the underside of the arm and down the long side of the body section then sew those edges together so with your dress still facing out now we're going to attach the long trim panel starting at the base at the bottom of like one of the front panels just pin the trim panel around make sure it's right size facing right side pin it around along the opening of the kimono dress around the back collar and down the opposite front side so just let it go around the opening then cut off any excess length if you have any and just sew a straight stitch there's no need to finish this edge just leave it open like that because we're going to cover that in the next step now turn the dress the right way around and iron it iron all your seams make sure that everything is nice and neat and as you do so fold about half an inch from the raw edge of the trim so, so now what I'm doing is I'm folding the trim back on itself to create that neat color around the opening of the dress right then pin it all in place and just sew a straight stitch from the folded edge in front of the trim to secure it in place I hope this is like clear and it's not at all confusing so after this guys the next thing we're going to do is hem our sleeves and hem the bottom of the dress so folding the raw ends of both the sleeves and the bottom and press it with an iron then pin it in place before sewing it to secure with a straight stitch you want to make sure that you iron and actually because you don't want all your hems and your sleeves to look lopsided so make sure that you pin them in place before you sew then finally we're just going to create our tie band by folding the already cut panel the long triangle panel that is eight inches by 78 inches we're going to fold that in half along the long side then pin it together and sew all I'm doing is I'm tucking in the raw edges on the open side and I'm just going to sew it with a straight stitch for a neat finish. Yeah, I also created little holders for the waist tie of the dress. Honestly, the best way to determine where to place the tabs is by trying on the dress, then adding your tie where you think it feels comfortable. And voila, that's it guys. We are done. This is the end result. This is what it ended up looking like. So I think the only thing I would change next time is I will use a fabric that like for some reason I just didn't, I just couldn't iron this fabric. I didn't have the things that I needed at home to iron this fabric. So it was really difficult to get it to look straight. But overall, I liked how it turned out. I thought it, it came out really nice and it's also easy to style in different ways so guys if you like this tutorial don't forget to give your thumbs up don't forget to let me know what you think in the comment section and share this video if you can and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you get first dibs on all of my content and the notification bell as well thank you guys for watching i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye <laughs>